Hello again, Ben here with another video in the Quan Sheng series. And a question that often comes up is which out of these very similar Quan Sheng handhelds is the best one? So out of the Quan Sheng UVK5, UVK5 version 8 or UVK6 which is very similar or of course the UV5R Plus, again a very similar radio, which one is the best one? Well that's quite difficult to answer really because um, first of all what you've got to realise is that essentially they are all exactly the same. If we take them apart and uh, we were look to look inside, the, uh, the PCB for all of these is identical, they would be exactly the same. The screen, which I've broken off on this one, needs replacing, but uh, the screen um, Color changes. It's literally just the, the LED is different on the uh, on the screens, uh, but the rest of the internals are exactly the same. Uh, obviously, there's a few cosmetic changes uh, on the uh, on the external. If we look at, first of all at the uh, UVK5, the original one, uh, you can see um, how they how they look outside on the external side. Uh, black uh, buttons on there and the orange uh, rotary knob on the top there, bright orange. I'm not a fan of that. Personally, I think the orange knob makes it look a little bit toy-like. I know they're only a cheap radio, so essentially a toy anyway, I suppose, but uh, I just think the uh, the black one looks a little bit more uh, sort of professional-like on these. So, uh, yeah, not a, not a fan of the orange ones. I've swapped them back for this video, because if you've seen my other videos, uh, I've changed most of these to, uh, to black knobs now, but uh, for the purpose of this I've tried to keep them as original as possible and uh, if you have seen any of my other videos you'll know I always try and keep the uh, the backlights on but for uh, again for this to keep it as original as possible I've uh, reset the firmware back to uh, factory settings and the factory firmware as it was so they're all exactly the same at the moment um, and like I say on the, uh, the UVK5 um, Originally, I know some people said that the uh, the audio wasn't as good on the UVK5 as it was on the UVK uh, yeah KVK6 or UVK58. Uh, but again, essentially, if we were to take them apart, the uh, the speaker in there uh, is exactly the same, and I say as is the uh, the circuitry as well. So personally, I don't think there's any difference between uh, audio qualities on these. So first thing I'm going to do is we'll put these into FM broadcast. Uh, mode and we'll just have a listen to the audios so function and then FM uh, Aaron's checking the shows this weekend uh, sometimes it's my, my friend Chris designed the sound effects so that's on the UVK5 let's listen to the UVK5 version 8 from it and, and hidden things and things that move things that rotate um, you know so it's the, the set in itself is kind of like a, a co-star so again that's pretty good audio nothing uh, Nothing too drastic on there. That uh, anything I can't tell any difference anyway. So uh, let's try the uh, UV5R Plus. After it, when maybe Dick is put away. Obviously, we need to put it on the right frequency. But there you go. Part of your life for so long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's been, my father helped build the set, um, and he he basically transformed it from a. a, a so yeah, pretty good audio on all of those. So there's um, there's no obvious difference that, that I can tell in my ears anyway. So uh, yeah, audio-wise, all pretty much the same. And uh, the only thing that really changes these radios is when you do the updates to the firmware or changing uh, firmware to uh, whatever your preference is. And uh, I've done a few videos on uh, different firmware, so I'll put a link in the description down below uh, so you can have a look at those if you wish. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I say, that is purely cosmetic. Um, if we look at the UVK5, uh, it's got the nice sort of metal or metallic sort of bezel around the screen there. Um, again, which I quite like on those. Uh, but to be honest, my personal favourite is the uh, UV5R Plus. Mainly, like I said, because it came with the black knob. And the main reason I prefer the UV5R uh, Plus is uh, it's actually got a bigger battery than the other two so I suppose that really is the, uh, the biggest difference if we take the battery off the back of the um, UV5R Plus um, you'll see that that one is a 2200 milliamp hour uh, battery still 7.2 volts um, slightly chunkier than the uh, the batteries on the other two but uh, for me that's, that's not an issue um, if we have a look at the uh, UVK5 uh, the batteries are slightly thinner, um, but they are only a 1600 um, milliamp hour battery. So uh, 
again it's not been a problem but uh, I guess the uh, the battery life probably isn't going to be as good uh, on the UVK5 um, or the UVK58 because again the UVK58 has got exactly the same battery as the UVK5 has it's another 1600 uh, milliamp hour battery uh, essentially they're not interchangeable um, because on the uh, 2200 milliamp hour battery there's these little tabs here um, so they won't plug in on the um, on the UVK5 or UVK58 or 6 uh, I'll try and demonstrate that. But it will work the other way around, and I think you probably could, uh, and I'm sure people have cut the little plastic tabs off, but yeah, they won't physically uh, fit and click in to the um, UV uh, K5 or uh, K5 A or 6. Um, but the other way around, if we swap the batteries around and we try putting one of the, uh, where is it? It's here, the 1600 milliamp hour batteries onto the uh, UV5R Plus, obviously you can see that does uh, that does click in and that does fit, uh, fit absolutely fine. The other real big difference then is just the screen colour. Like I say, it's all basically cosmetic. The antennas are all the same, but the uh, the screens are different. On the UVK5, you've got a very nice uh, bright white screen, and uh, it's difficult to see on the uh, on the camera because I know it looks a little bit blue on this particular camera. But uh, I say that is a kind of a a bright white, if you like, LED in the uh, in the LED display or the LCD display on that one. Sorry, the UVK58 uh, or UVK56 have the orange display, and it is just like I say, just a little LED uh, in the corner of the display there, which uh, um, creates the colour. So I don't think it's changeable in any of the firmwares, as far as I know. And then the UV5R Plus. Um, has got quite a nice uh, blue screen. It does I've said this on a previous video. I know it looks very similar to the UVK5, but actually uh, uh, off video, it's uh, it's a very very nice sort of electric blue as opposed to the uh, the bright white of the uh, UVK5. Uh, anyway, little short video of that one. And I'll say there's really not much to say because they are so uh, so similar. But uh, let you make you make your own mind up. And uh, uh, I've got obviously a, a few different. Uh, Different ones, and for me, really, it was uh, it's all about it's all about the price as well. I've found that the UV 5R Plus, although it's only been a few uh, English pounds difference, it's been a, a little bit cheaper, um, even though they have got the bigger battery. And I do actually pr prefer that one, but I've been able to get these uh, delivered for about 15 pounds, so uh, really cheap. Whereas probably sort of 16, 17, maybe 18 pounds for the other two. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching the video as always if you've enjoyed it please leave me a comment like subscribe and all that kind of thing and we'll see you on the next one 73